This is a JM20, which is our newest uh, machine for through-hole insertion, as well as uh, standard SMT assembly. So we can handle complicated boards with a lot of different through-hole components on this machine, as well as the standard SMT. We can do really complicated boards such as this one, things like transformers that are often very heavy and don't have flat surfaces. This one does, but often you'll have a coil or a transformer that's not flat on the top, so a traditional vacuum nozzle wouldn't be possible. We can also handle thin components such as disc capacitors or components with heat sinks on top that have no clear vacuum surface by gripping from the sides. You name it, all kinds of different components, headers, uh, along with the standard SMT. So it's a very flexible machine. Tall components are no problem for the JM20. It can handle them up to 55 millimeters tall. And we also have the ability for the axial components to insert at odd angles instead of just zero or 90. The JM20 supports a lot of different feeding options. We include, of course, standard SMT feeders, but we also have radial feeders, axial feeders, stick feeders, bowl feeders, and of course, trait components are supported as well. Even though many companies have a standard radial inserter or axial inserter, uh, if you look carefully on this board, these are at some odd angles, and typically those machines aren't able to handle those odd angles. Uh, they're typically restricted to just zero at 90 degrees. So uh, the machine's really flexible and fills a lot of holes. We have over 200 different nozzles in our standard nozzle catalog that can handle parts from an 01005 all the way up to very large components that are using uh, a gripping function that are too heavy or don't have a flat surface on the top for a traditional vacuum nozzle. One of the most important features of the JM20 is that it's faster and more accurate than manual insertion. So where a lot of companies will have a push line where they have several people who are manually inserting the components, the JM20 can replace those workers and it's faster, it's more accurate, it doesn't take breaks, and ultimately the companies can achieve cost savings in their production.